Well, hello everybody. It's Monday again. It's time to shave. And I got something else from Willie. Two things, actually, from Willie's gift box that he sent me a while back. I'm still plowing through it. After this razor today, I have one, two, three, four more razors and one more brush. So what brush am I going to use today? This is one that Willie sent me. Get all the water off there. This is Wild West Brushworks. Um, I didn't bother to look it up. <laughs> but it is kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like strawberries and cream or, uh, you know, as somebody else said something, you know, bodily fluids, but I'm not going to say anything about, uh, you know, that's gross. But <laughs> anyway, thank you, Willie. So this is a synthetic brush, as you can probably tell. And then the razor we're going to use, another one of these from Razor Rock. Now we tried the Game Changer last time, which was an absolutely beautiful razor. Turns out it's very popular. I had no idea, you know. Um, it's just a very simple, beautifully done razor. You know, it gets the job done. No, uh, you know, no muss and fuss, no, no fancy things, no vibrating, no heating, just a simple razor. So let's see what this one is in here in this. I love these little bags. These are gorgeous little bags. I guess if you order them from Razor Rock, you get one. I don't know if they're extra or not, but this is the Razor Rock Mamba 70 Titanium with a super neural handle. So this thing is $65, Razor Rock. It's a long one. That's a real long one. Let me put it up next to my Murica razor. Look how short my little Sinatra linen Murica razor is. But this one's got a magnet in the bottom. Yeah, so I'll just uh, leave that there. Anyway, so here we go. This is a another three-piece razor. Very simple. Um, I should, you know, I should check out and see what the... Uh, how the Game Changers head looks compared to the Mamba 70. Made in Canada, I was right. I said last time I think they're made in Canada. They are made in Canada. So there you go. This one, now see, I think the Game Changer had the same deal. I wish that all three pegs were on the same side because it makes it a little bit easier, you know, to get that extra peg in there to hold onto that razor blade. So let's go ahead and do it the way they want you to do it, like this. I got a feather blade, brand new. And I'm gonna put it on the bottom one with the two guides because, you know, two is better than one. And uh, then we'll put the top on. There you go, make sure that's all lined up. There is no hang over the side, which I like. I love that the Game Changer was the same way. Any razor that is just wide enough or long enough to, uh, to protect you from the edges of the blade, even though they're not the sharpest, they can still slice your finger. The Razor Rock Mamba 70 Titanium Super Neural Handle. Nothing on the bottom. Three piece. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. Gonna put some hot water on my face. And lather up with the Wild West uh, brush works. I'm gonna use Terror today, soap. Uh, it's not really about the soap in the aftershave today, it's more about the brush. Ooh, slow down there. Slow down there, Sinatra Lennon. Let me get down. Every time I show you on camera, like how many times you need to see a guy uh, uh, make a lather, right? It just flings soap pellets everywhere. <laughs> pellets, droplets. Come on, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I'm the only one here. I'm, not, I'm alone on stage. Help me out here. All right, here we go. So this is good stuff. It's very mentholated, which I like. Put this down, wash my hand off. I'm very fastidious. <laughs> Did you ever see that Phil Hartman um, SNL skit about the anal retentive chef? He spent more time disposing of his refuse than he did cooking. It was fantastic. It always kind of appealed to me, though. I do tend towards the, the OCD uh, spectrum, I think. I do have some of those tendencies. Luckily, not enough to, uh, to be a hindrance to me, but I'm sure it's, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Ooh, good stuff. Terror. Ah. It is made by Barrister and Mann. Good stuff, you know. I, the OCD is kicking out. I got <laughs> to clean that off and then let it dry. There we go. Okay, let's get to the Razor Rock Mamba 70. Titanium super neural handle. Oh, the tingling. I'm getting the tingle. You feeling it too? I know you are. All right, here we go. This one look. Oh, gosh. Like it stopped me in my tracks. It felt like there wasn't a blade in it. It felt like it was just like, whoop, and then I caught the blade. I got the right angle. I didn't have the angle to begin with, and that's why it felt like it was just slipping along my face because the blade hadn't engaged. So think about those things when you're shaving, you know, if you, if you, uh, if you aren't blathering on like I do. 
you can pay more attention to, you know, how your hair is growing and what angle you need to make the razor. It's not that hard. That was one thing I always worried about when I was watching safety razor videos to begin with. Before I started using them, I was like, well, you got to get that blade exactly right. It's got to be 35.92. You know, it's like, nah, it's not that hard. You just, just kind of go like this, like, yeah, there we go. You can tell. You can tell is what I'm saying with the safety razor. Oh boy, some good stuff. Shaving. This is, this is a pretty good razor. I don't think it's as good as the game changer, but it's pretty good. So, you know, take that with a, a you know, a grain of salt. All right. Ooh, it's so nice. I love, you know, what, however they formulated the menthol in this uh, terror over there at Barrister Man is different than most other uh, menthol uh, products I've used. There's something different about it. It seems a little bit cooler. It certainly lasts a long time, because you know I always talk about that aftershave that I will use after this. I'll use the Terror aftershave to go along with the soap. I haven't used the soap in a long time, but it's very, very similar to the mentholated experience with their aftershave. But it just lasts forever. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Well, I hope you all had a fine weekend. So we're through with all the spring holidays. What's coming up next? Mother's Day? Father's Day? Birthdays? Anybody got some birthdays coming up? Mm hmm? I don't. Not yet. Not till the end of summer. But I have a, uh, look what I, I finally, do you guys remember when I bought this? Uh, I bought this and the uh, uh, lotion, the skin lotion. They don't, Barbasol doesn't make this anymore, but I found it at like a big lots. It must have been five years ago now, and I finally used it all up. It was in the shower, and now I'm all done. I feel kind of sad because I can't get any more. Anyway, but I've got a... Uh, oh, here we go. I still have the, the body wash that I don't really use. Or, I mean, the uh, uh, the lotion. But I've got it got it down in the, in the shelf there, ready for use if I need it. Okay, so there's the first pass. So let's think. Ow. Oh, oh. oh man. You know, oh, God. hold on, hold on. Let me rinse my face off and my eyeball. I need an eye wash station. Okay, good. A little bit of the, the, the shaving cream got right in my eyeball when I did that. So, okay, let's think about how it feels, that first one. Definitely not as, yeah, I got a lot, lot left to shave. So it's very, it's, I guess it's a mild razor because that's a feather blade, a brand new feather blade. So it's sharp. So it's probably a mild razor. Um, <laughs> you might be more familiar with it than I am, but, uh, definitely the game changer is still compared to this one. My favorite. Now somebody commented, they said, which one, which do you prefer the game changer or the Murica razor? You know, the, the Murica razor is my signature one. And this is a fantastic razor too. I love it, but it feels and looks totally different from the Game Changer. Not that this is the Game Changer. And I said, I prefer the Game Changer. And he said, oh, I bought a Murica razor. Don't worry, it is still just as good. It's just a different feeling. There's something about the matte texture of that metal that makes it go a little slower, I feel. So you can tell when you're getting the stuff. These kind of glide over a little bit quicker. But uh, so yeah, don't worry, if you didn't, don't have buyer's remorse. <laughs> Easier said than done, I know. But uh, no, the, the Marika razor, fantastic. Still love it. That's why it's my signature razor. You can go buy it if you want to. Just every, um, I don't write much in the, <laughs> in the video descriptions because it's always kind of the same thing. And I, you know, what I'm doing speaks for itself unless there's some special thing I have to do. But I, so I always copy and paste the same links down in the description. So there are links to merch and, you know, and mugs and t-shirts and all that jazz. And my signature brushes and razors. I think all those links are still good. I should probably check them. Ooh, today is tax day, folks. Tax day. Tax man. Yeah, I know. They pushed it, uh, I guess, because April 15th was on a Friday. I guess they then give you a few more days. Next year, it'll be on the weekend, so you give me more. And then next year, it'll be on a Sunday, so you get a little bit more. Because I don't know if you're like me, but uh, I put off doing my taxes till the last minute in case I got to pay, you know? Oof. 
That was one thing when I was a kid that always worried me. How am I going to know how to pay taxes? And now, thank goodness, I just use hnrblock.com and they kind of hold your hand through the whole thing. I don't have any special crazy finances I need to worry about, you know. All right, so there's the second pass. So, oh, I still got a lot. Wow. I still have a ton of... Ooh, boy, that is super mild. All right. I don't know, the mamba, it's called the mamba. It's not biting me. But maybe that's good. If you want a really mild razor that doesn't really shave very well... No, I'm just kidding. No, you know, a lot of people have sensitive skin and can't use a razor every day because of that. So maybe this one would be a good choice. Ooh, still getting that tingle. This brush, by the way, is, is great. It feels good. Oh, I'm getting more in my eye from the... Gotta be more careful. But this is a good brush. It's got a good weight to it. And, uh, you know, synthetic, synthetic brushes are pretty much all the same to me, as far as I can tell, you know. I, I left my... The very first synthetic brush I ever used is at my, gra at my grandma's... At my mom's house, where we just were this weekend. And uh, it's like, oh, I remember you were the very first one. You started it all, and now you're living down there in relative peace and, you know, retired in Florida, I guess. <laughs> all right, let's go with the third one. Let's see if I can get... You can hear, I'm getting the angle right, because you can hear more whiskers coming off. Whiskers, come here. I don't have a cat named Whiskers. That's what I call my razors. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, April, April 25th. What's today, the 18th? On April 25th, I got a special video coming out. I think it's a, I don't know, what day is that? I don't think it's a Monday or a Friday, but it's coming out anyway. I think it's a Tuesday? I don't know. Anyway, you do the math, you figure it out. Stay tuned. Special video, April 25th. Oh, I need to go up. Dang it, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Up, up, Sinatra, up, pay attention, boy. Oh, sheesh, you know. You know how it is when you get old. The best thing about getting older is you get to use lots of excuses having to do with your age. Oh, I can't do that anymore. I'm too old. Oh, boy, I can't, I can, sorry, I can't go help you move from your apartment to your new house. I'm far too old. <laughs> of course, I'm not, and I'm sure that in 20 years from now, I'll be like, you're an idiot. What were you doing? Why didn't you live it up? And I am. I'm living it up. This is living it up. You don't think this is living it up? Who am I talking to? Myself in the future? or I don't know. Hey, did you join me for that little Instagram hangout this weekend? That's something new, I guess. Just kind of stumbled across Saturday morning. You can do live hangouts on Instagram. I'm sure I'm the last to the party on this, and everyone knows this, and I sound like an old... I sound like a boomer, which I am not. Okay, let me teach you. When you... Call someone a boomer, that's my parents' generation. Not I'm Gen X. Not that I've been called a boomer, but I just hear people calling everyone a boomer. And the reason is they're from the baby boom generation, born directly after in the years after World War II. So there's a little bit of knowledge for your 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 dismissive insults <laughs> of old folks. Come on, man. Be nice to your elders. We're far too old to be treated that way. All right. Let's feel. There we go. That got it. I mean, there's still some. I can still feel, which normally I wouldn't. More so on this side than this side. But, yeah, let me get the problem areas. So, final thoughts. It's a fine razor. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just far too mild for me. For me. But if you're in the market, like I said, $65 for this one. Uh, just look for it online. Razo Rock. Mamba 70 titanium. Now let me get up here in my nostrils because that does bug me if I leave little whiskers up there. Don't ask me why. There we go. Here, just a tad. I can really do more of this with a, with a really mild razor, you know, just kind of do little touch-up areas. But I don't want to have to do too much, so that's why I think it's a little too um, mild for me. So this will go back in its case, and I probably won't use this one when uh, again, and this will be part of, you know, some giveaway at some point in the future. But thank you, Willie. I can't, I, you know, I, every time I, I can't thank you enough. Now check this out. See how the water has kind of suctioned it to the, this, like it won't just fall off. Well, if you have one of these razors, you can really use a little magnet. Oh my God. Can I tell you? Ooh, the magnet's not strong enough. <laughs> Come here. 
There we go. God, can I be honest with you? Uh, this was, uh, I think it was Friday, Thursday or Friday. I was, I, you know, I'm in my bathroom and the sink's here. And of course the, the commode is right next to me, the toilet. And uh, the lid was up, not the seat, the seat was down. And I unwrapped a brand new feather razor blade and bloop, it fell down into the toilet. Clean toilet, hadn't been used, it was perfectly clean. Could have eaten off the thing. No, I'm just kidding. So I was like, oh man, how am I gonna get that? It was sitting there at the bottom. And then I thought, am I gonna have to use this? And I did. I stuck this down into, I, st I only got, I had to dip my hand in a little bit. I got it out as quick as I could and I washed it all off. That's why I like the magnet. <laughs> I know, I know. I hope you weren't eating lunch during that, but like I said, it was all clean. It was okay, it wasn't disgusting. So anyway, all right, uh, let me dry off and then we'll put on, oh, put on our tuxedo. No, sorry, put on the aftershave and be done, hey, but no nicks, no nicks, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a good shave. It's a good shave. It's just very, very mild. Now that feels perfectly good. But if I press hard, if I really, if I'm gunning for it, I'm gonna find the whiskers, you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. All right, so here we go with the uh, Greek yogurt consistency. That stuff, it's so weird, it's like a strange, I wish it was a little bit thicker. But I love the way it feels and the way it smells, tingles. Just don't rub your eyes afterwards. <laughs> Wash your hands off, you know, it's like after you eat something spicy, you don't want to then touch anything that might, you know, sting. All right, everybody, well, that's it. Thanks again to Willie, thanks again to everybody. Uh, keep an eye out for that special video on the 25th and uh, come back on Friday and we'll open another one of these. We've got four more razors after this. Yeah, I know, exciting, exciting. All right, everyone, have a great week and I'll see you all soon, bye.